so there's a couple of places where you're going to set up your domains and go high level. One is going to be where you set up your uh, domain to host, you know, that directs um, to your funnels and your web pages. So you're going to uh, set up a domain here. So what we'll do, we'll do that. The second one is going to be the email domain settings, which I'm going to create a second video for. All right. So setting up the, the domain, we're at the dashboard. We've logged in under the sub account. We go to settings. We're going to go to domains. And I guess I should also say this is going to be specific to um, how you do this with Namecheap. There's two ways with Namecheap. One is to use the advanced DNS, and the other is to use the um, cPanel if you have shared hosting with them. Uh, I really prefer to use the advanced DNS. I've had better success with it. So that's what I'm going to show you first, and then I'll give you a quick glimpse of how to deal with it in the cPanel. So here we are. We add the domain. Uh, if you want to use a subdomain, so for example, uh, I want to connect funnels.proformguard.com. Couple of things that you want to be aware of in here as uh, some tips. So this is all great, um, perfect information here. Okay, so all we have to do is create a CNAME record. The host is funnels. Required value is um, flash.funnels dot uh, msgsndr dot com. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over to our um, Namecheap account. I've already logged in here and I'm just going to come up here to advanced DNS and then I'm going to add a new record and it's going to be a C name and we just put in the subdomain name. So you can obviously come over here. Uh, oops. Oops. Didn't mean to show that. I have to blur that out now. And you can just copy that, right? Uh, we're gonna, we've already got it in there. We're going to copy here and put it in for the target. And then we'll save the changes. Now let's go back over here and we'll just tell it to verify the records. This may not have propagated yet, so we may have to do this two or three times, the verification. So let's just see if it propagated quickly or not. With the new DNS requirements starting this month, it's February 2024 for Gmail and Yahoo Mail. Uh, I think that the, yeah, the DNS stuff is kind of a mess. So we'll do it again. It's taking a lot of propagate is what I mean by that. So. Oftentimes half a minute does it sometimes, but I've seen it in the last couple of days taking, you know, 15, 20 minutes to propagate these settings. All right, so now I'm just going to select what funnel or website I want to go to and what the first step is, and tell it link domain. So now if we go over here to our sites, funnels, we attached it to the MDS, and then we go to settings, you'll see it's right here. If you need to remove this domain, you just hit remove. You could also add another one from here, it'll take you back to that same menu. All right. The second route you could go is if you're using um, the cPanel and you've got this zone editor set up, uh, it's going to be basically the same thing. You're just going to put your C name in, you're going to go add record, you're going to put funnels, make it a C name, and then it goes to flash.meshacender. And then you tell it save. And then that will propagate that way. All right. Hope this is helpful to you. If it's not, comment. If it is, give me a thumbs up. Maybe share it with somebody else that could use it. I'm grateful. And uh, 
happy high leveling.